guys, my name is Jen and this is my channel Embracing Chaos coming to you with another super yummy weekly meal prep. This week, again, surprise, surprise, I will be using pumpkin. Woohoo! So I really wanted to do the pumpkin overnight oats, but I just, I feel like other people have done those, so I tried to find a pumpkin recipe that I haven't seen yet. So this week for breakfast, I will be doing Pumpkin Banana Greek Yogurt Muffins. This is a recipe that I got from Drizzle Me Skinny. I will link the recipe down below. I got it on Pinterest, so, and she also has a website, so there has to be a way for me to post it. So, I'll post that down below. They are two points on all plans, guys. Two points for a muffin. <sighs> Yum! <laughs> I'm a little, little wound up. May or may not have some coffee. I don't know. And for lunch, I'm going to be doing the WW Super Easy Crock Pot 3 Bean Chili. Guys, I love this recipe. It is zero points on purple and blue, and it is seven points on green. This is one of my favorite recipes. It's so versatile. As I'm making the recipe, I'm going to kind of talk about some of the options you have when you eat it. So stay tuned for that. If you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up. Oh, and then look, I, I do have an injury. I was attacked by a can of tomatoes. No, you But anyways, <laughs> on to happier things. <laughs> if you would not mind giving me a thumbs up before we get started, and if you haven't already hitting that subscribe button down in the corner, I would greatly appreciate it. It really helps get my channel out there, and it lets YouTube know that you guys are enjoying my content. So, let's get started. I'll see you in the kitchen. All right, let's get started on our chili. As you can see, I've already got a bunch of stuff in the crock pot, and that's because the beans and the corn needed to be rinsed and drained before I put them in. So I went ahead and did that ahead of time. Let me show you what I have in here. I've got two cans of black beans. These are the 15 ounce cans. One can of corn. Two cans of the light red kidney beans and two cans of the reduced sodium pinto beans. And like I said, all of these have been rinsed and drained and then put in the crock pot. Then I'm going to add two cans of the Rotel, that's the tomatoes with the chili in it. Those I did not drain. We've got one can of tomato sauce. We've got one finely diced purple onion. It calls for one clove of minced garlic, but I'm gonna add a full tablespoon, which comes to about two and a half cloves. I like my chili extra strong on the garlic side, so we're gonna do one tablespoon. And then we're gonna add one packet of chili seasoning. All right, now we'll give this all a good stir. This is gonna cook on low for four to six hours. I mean, clearly it's just beans and vegetables, so if you need to crank it up to high and cook it for less time, you can, but I've got some time today, so I'm gonna cook it a little bit slower. Now, and I wanted to take a minute to tell you what all I use this for. Yes, this is chili, and yes, it is fantastic in a bowl with a little bit of cheese and maybe some fat-free sour cream on top. But let me tell you what else I do with this while we are stirring away. I like to add this to scrambled eggs in the morning. You can make either just some spicier eggs or you can do a breakfast burrito with it. You can put this on top of tortilla chips and add some more cheese, make some nachos with it. You can put this into a tortilla and make a lunch burrito style wrap. There is so much you can do with this. It's so versatile. You'll see when it's done, it's not a soupy chili at all. It's just beans and tomatoes and wonderful spices. So I think we've got this stirred good enough. I'm gonna get my lid on this, set it to low, and then we'll get started on our muffins. Okay, so we've got everything out for our banana pumpkin muffins. To get things started, I'm using the Faye Greek yogurt, non-fat. I'm using the Libby's pumpkin puree. The vanilla that I'm using is the vanilla that my mom gets us in Mexico. Great big huge bottle. Allspice, and then just the good old fashioned Kirkland cinnamon. 
So we're gonna start with the egg whites from one large egg and one egg. And then I'm adding two tablespoons of the Lakanto brown sugar substitute. We'll mix this with our hand mixer for two minutes. We've got this mixed up for two minutes. It's nice and frothy. We'll add one teaspoon of the vanilla, one third cup of our Greek yogurt, three fourths cup of our pumpkin puree, and then one medium banana. I am kind of squishing this up while it's in the peel gently so we don't make a massive mess. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add this. And then we'll use a hand mixer to mix this up. Mmm, smells good already, my goodness. Alrighty, then in here we've got one cup of flour, we've got a half teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and then a half teaspoon of allspice. And we're gonna slowly mix this in. We've got our muffin pan ready to go. I did spray it with the non-stick cooking spray. We've got a spoon here and we're gonna go ahead and dish out enough to make 10 muffins. Okay, so we've got these divided into 10 muffin pans. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of cinnamon on top, not too much. All right, that looks perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get this into a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes until they're cooked all the way through. And here are the finished muffins. Somebody ate one. Somebody was me, I wanted to try it, it was good. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get these into my containers for the week. I do meal prep for four days and then the other days I just kind of work on leftovers. Got these cute, little containers here. I think we be the perfect size for two muffins. Let's cross our fingers and see what happens. Ah, oh, look at me being awesome. Perfect fit. Okay, all four containers are packed and ready for the week. I'm gonna get the lids on and get these in the fridge and then we'll just wait for the chili to be done. Who's ready for some chili? Oh gosh, it smells so good. I can't even begin to tell you how good it smells. Now this is juicier than I've ever had my chili turn out before. But still it's not as soupy as some of the chilies I've had. So this is still really, really hot. I'm gonna be super careful with it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my glass containers. I'm using smaller containers for the days that I wanna make nachos or put it on a tortilla. And then I figured this to be a good size for a single serve. And then I'll add something along the side. Maybe a salad, maybe just a vegetable, a fruit, something yummy. We'll see. Catch me on my day in life and we'll see what I add to it. I told you guys it made a lot. This bowl is already full, so I'm gonna fill up one more, and again, this will be for our leftover day, or just for the kids and Steve to eat. All right, and here we have our five gigantic bowls of chili. I'll get some lids on these as soon as they cool off a little bit, and then we'll get them in the fridge and we're all set. Okay, guys, that sums up my meal plan for this week. We ended up with four days worth of the two point pumpkin banana muffins from Drizzle Me Skinny. Again, the recipe is linked down below, so make sure you stop by her site to check out that recipe as well as all of her other recipes. They are fantastic. And then we've got our WW Chili, which like I said, I'll be using that for nachos. I'll be eating it as a main dish, putting some Greek yogurt, some sour cream on it and some cheese. 
You can add it to eggs in the morning for breakfast. So very versatile. Again, it's zero points for purple and blue and seven points on green. I hope you guys enjoyed these recipes. I really appreciate you stopping by to see what I'm up to. Again, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down in the corner. I'd appreciate that as well. I'm always looking to grow my YouTube family. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those down below. And until next time, keep smiling. Bye.